James Rufus Williams. James Rufus Williams was last seen April the 1st, 1955. He was a white male. He was 27 years old at the time of his disappearance. He was around five, between 5 foot 5 and 5 foot 8 and weighed roughly 140 to 150 pounds. Um, Caucasian with sandy brown hair. Here is the details of his disappearance from the Charlie Project. Williams was last seen in Old Fort, North Carolina on April the 1st, 1955. He worked at the Old Fort finishing plant. On the day of his disappearance, he left work earlier than usual, saying that he was not feeling very well. His stepdaughter said that he had been having some problems with his blood pressure. He was last seen walking along the railroad tracks in Old Fort. He was never seen or heard from again. He had no contact with his wife, who he had been married to for five years, his two children, or any other loved ones. He was declared legally dead seven years after he was last seen. His wife and siblings are all now deceased, but his youngest daughter, who was only one year old at the time of his disappearance, is alive and is as well as his stepdaughter. He also has one surviving cousin. According to William's family, he was a loving father, but he did occasionally binge drink and would sometimes become somewhat mean while he was under the influence. His family doesn't believe he left voluntarily because he had no debts. He had no reason to walk out of his life. His case remains unsolved. Now, the only reason that I've been including this is because I read an article where the family had decided to try to reopen this case and look for answers. They don't believe the story from his employer that he said he was leaving early because he didn't feel well. Now, here is from Web Sleuths. A Florida woman is reaching out to the Old Fort community to see if they know what might have happened to her family member over 60 years ago. This was dated May 14th, 2018. Nancy Starr of Fort Myers, Florida sent a flyer to McDowell County Sheriff's Office and the Old Fort Police Department asking them to open a case file on her cousin, James Rufus Williams, who disappeared without a trace sometime in April of 1955. Family members who were, who were still living at that time stated that he was reported missing and the authorities made efforts to find him. They dragged the river, but he was never located. According to Star, Williams worked at Old Fort Finishing Plant, and on the day of his disappearance, he went to work, but he was not feeling well and told his employer that he was leaving early. He was allegedly last seen walking along the railroad tracks in Old Fort. Since the day he has disappeared, he has never had any contact with any of his family members. He was declared legally dead by the Social Security Administration seven years after his disappearance. Starr said there was a missing persons report made to the police, Captain Shannon Smith of McDowell County Sheriff's Office and Chief Melvin Little of Old Fort Police, said there are no records left over from that time. Little said he would keep the flyer in case of anything surfaces. Um, Old Fort is a very small town. Its population uh, in that time, back then, was would only have been around 750 people. So, they dragged the river, so they don't think that he went into the river. He was seen walking along the railroad tracks. Is it possible, just a theory here, that he may have jumped on a train and left town? Maybe he wanted to leave his life behind. Maybe he was tired of his job. Um, 
I don't know. Hopefully the daughter and the cousin gave their DNA and put it into a database, genealogy basis. It's possible that this man, he was only 27 years old, uh, it's possible he did just go off someplace and start a new life. He may have other children out there. And if that's the case, maybe one day their DNA would match up and they might be able to find out what became of him. And if he passed away, his remains would have been somewhere unless they were disposed of, you know. The people living at the time that he was around have all since died. But did any of them talk about him through the years? You know? Um, did any of them speculate on what might have happened to him? I'm sure that they did. It's It's one thing about it, though, is that even after all these years, someone out there wants to know what happened to him. Sometimes I like to go on to Reddit to look for these stories because of the comments. Sometimes you will happen upon some comments from someone who maybe lived in that area and maybe heard stories about this as they were growing up through the years. This is pretty much the same as the other story. He was reported missing. Law enforcement searched for him. They, they dragged the river, and they could find no trace of him. If he was having problems with his blood pressure and he was drinking, I don't know if he was on medication. He may have been taking medication for his blood pressure. Um, he could have become intoxicated, and the blood pressure medicine and the that maybe he didn't have any um, identification on him. And maybe he did pass away. Maybe someone found his body and just... Maybe he was buried in one of these unmarked graves because nobody knew who he was, you know? Thanks for listening.